Let's now speak uh, to civil nuclear engineer Hugo Kruger, who joins us from Paris. Thank you so much for your time. Before we jump into the Kusile stuff, I have to ask you, <laughs> Vakil and Balula said in March it should be a thing of the past load shedding by the end of the year. Today, he sort of slightly changed his emphasis, but said from a political point of view they were expecting. Uh, also suggesting that it was Heidi Jarkos's view that uh, load shedding would not end by the end of the year. Uh, I've spoken to a number of experts who agree with Heidi. Uh, what's your view? When is load shedding going to end? Is it going to be December next month? Um, I always refrain from making predictions of the future because I might be quoted in the press and be evaluated <laughs> a few months later. <laughs> okay, and I made a few mistakes that time. I'll make a broader statement that might uh, give clarity. There's no lack of capacity in South Africa. Okay. ESCOM has enough capacity to end load shedding. The question is operations and maintenance, and particularly in the operations phase. Okay. So, in other words, if the plants that are broken come online, we don't just end load shedding, we have excess capacity. So we don't need to build any more plants, anything of that sort. Okay, that's assuming we, 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 we say ESCOM can fix the plants. Mm. If you fix what is broken, which I think is what the ministers were hoping and banging on, yes, South Africa has excess capacity. But now the question is, why are the plants broken? Why is load shedding, and I, I mentioned this in a few interviews throughout this week, going from stage one to two to three to four. If you take a long variance over the year, long standard deviation of South Africa's fleet, we have something like three to four gigawatt or three to uh, 3,000, 4,000 megawatt per day tripping on and off. So what does that tell you? There's clearly an operational problem at ESCOM. I want to make another statement because they keep on repeating this lie. It is not due to the aging of the plant. Some of ESCOM's best performing plants are the oldest plants. Some of the worst performing plants is Kusili and Madupi, or Kusili in particular, and some of the newer plants. So what's happening over there? 